fractional indexes. In previous videos, we learned that a to the power of n is equal to a times a times a for n times. Okay, we have n number of a. And we also learned that a to the power of 0 is equal to 1 and a to the power of negative n is equal to 1 over a to the power of n. Now we have another interesting question here, okay? Now so far we assume that all the index numbers are integers. There's no fractions of, for the index numbers. Huh? So now we have another interesting question. Um, what is the value for a fractional index number? For example, a to the power of 1 over 2, a to the power of 1 over 6. Okay, so how do we find the values of these uh, fractional indexes? Well, let's see this example. Let's say we have uh, a square, okay, and then it's times a cubed. Okay. Now we know that a square is a times a, yeah? and a cube is equal to a times a times a, and therefore in totals we have 5a here uh, multiplied by itself, and therefore we have a5. And from here we can deduce that actually a square multiplied by a cube is equal to a. Um, 2 plus 3, okay? This is from a squared and this is from a cubed and in total we have 5a yeah? and therefore this is a uh, plus 3 equal to a5. Therefore, if we are asked to find the values of a to the power of 3 times a to the power of 5, we can straight away tell that this is equal to a to the power of 3 plus 5 which is equal to a to the power of 8, right? Okay, then how about a to the power of 1 over 2 times a to the power of 1 over 2? Okay, so straight away we can tell that this is equal to a 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 uh, equal to a to the power of 1, which is equal to a. Now, in modern math, when we discuss square root, we also learn that the square root of a multiplied by the square root of a is equal to a. And therefore, from here, when we compare these two, uh, we can tell that actually a to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to the square root of a. Now, in previous slides, we learned that... Um, a to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to the square root of a. Okay, so how about a to the power of 1 over 3? Okay, so we know that a to the power of 1 over 3 times a to the power of 1 over 3 times a to the power of 1 over 3 equal to a to the power of 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 equal to a. And we also learn that in modern max that the cube root of a times the cube root of a times the cube root of a is equal to a. And therefore, when we compare these two, then we learn that uh, a to the power of 1 over 3 is equal to the cube root of a. Okay, so a to the power of 1 over 3 equals to the cube root of a. By using the same method, actually, you can tell that a to the power of 1 over 4 equals to the root of 4 of a, and a equals to 1 over 5 equal to the root of 5 of a, and so on. And therefore, we can conclude that a to the power of 1 over n is the n root of a, yeah? for example, with so a, or we write it in this way, a to the power of 1 over n is equal to the n root of a. 
Let's see this example. Find the values of the following for question A: nine to the power of one over two. A: nine to the power of one over two is equal to the square root of nine, and this is equal to three. And B: two hundred and sixteen to the power of one over three, and this is equal to the cube root of 216 and then we learn that actually uh, 216 equal to 6 times 6 times 6 and therefore this is equal to 6 okay and C okay I think this is a mistake here okay this is supposed to be uh, 1 over 4 1 over 4 okay so 2,401 to the power of 1 over 4, um, this is equal to the fourth root, the fourth root of 2,401, uh, okay? And this is equal to the fourth root of 7 times 7 times 7 times 7, okay? And this is equal to 7. And the last one, D. 128 to the power of 1 over 7. This is the seventh root of 128. And by uh, doing some calculations, uh, you can find that this actually is equal to 2. Okay, so this is uh, how to find the value of uh, fractional indexes.